The day I swore to myself that I would hang out with germ warfare, I feel like he's got a lot of battle stories to explain to me, and I'm just so curious about our nation's history. Mm, what's your face? Honestly, I forgot your name. Hello, May. Pickaxe at it, me. You know the drill. Do you guys just tell me where you are? This is not- okay, so morning activities with these people is not actually helpful. It's purely just this is where they happen to be today. Okay. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hmm. Come pick your fight, give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to the next blank tones next week. Going to see the blank tones? What are you going to a concert without us? That's going to be the breakup of the band. They're going to notice that that band is way cooler than our band and they won't want to be in the band anymore. This band is my therapy. It's literally the only thing I hang out with doing. If we ditch the band, then what am I? Just like some jobless cat? Mother. Good morning. Here's my little sunshine, Daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? That sounds about right. Okay, well I'm gonna make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Okay, geez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, honey. You're not the sunshine daisy child I always dreamed you would be. If you're not smiling, then you're not right. Even if you're just kind of neutral, if you're not smiling, you're not right. I'm an adult, I can make the decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And also, if you're an adult, then you can start paying rent. So either you go to the doctors to deal with your, uh, your mental situation, which is harming your own life, or you pay rent, okay? And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. It's okay, mom. It's not okay. Okay, I'm gonna go now. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do exactly? Because I feel like there's like kind of literally nothing for you to be doing, honestly speaking. I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. What do you mean take it easy? Like, what am I- what am I doing? Otherwise, I'm doing nothing. What do you think I'm out there doing? Drugs? I'm not doing drugs, I'm doing crimes, mother. Crimes are infinitely more cool than drugs. And they only harm other people and not myself most of the time. So that's like improvements for the person doing them. Ooh, mall cop. Oh god. What do you want? The missing arm you found on the ground a while ago went disappearing now, sweetie huns. Um, frickin' give it back. And I'm like, I don't have it. And I say as an arm falls out of my back pocket. Hello to you too, mate. Well, I wanted to let you know we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yep, and it was made of, um, cow meat in a pig intestines. Not a real arm, don't investigate any further. Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely, I'm surprised that you were able to tell me things. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. A medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. It probably floated up from the rainwater from the subway. Maybe, that makes no sense, but probably is what happened. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Don't go telling everybody, because this is a serious matter, and we don't want to be spreading the information unless there is a criminal. And then I'm like, I'm gonna go tell literally everyone, actually. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? There wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Mmm, you have a nice evening with your little bumpy car. I, for one, am walking like a gentle soul. I don't need, like, the tools of modern age. I just need poetry from my dearest friend that I forgot the name of because it's been a while. Hey, Selmers! I, you're my best friend! Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, I'm just... <coughs> I'm fine. I'm just tired, got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. What, do I look sick? At least they could have added some sort of a graphic cell. I thought I was honestly fine. Want to hear a new poem? Is it about being sickly? The stars, the stars. Like lights on cars. Drive across the dark. And never park. It's true, they are like that. At some part, you think, they never move. And on the other part, you're like, they're constantly moving. Just like humanity. We got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Longest night, longest night, night so nice, you say it twice. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. 
Did I used to go faster than this? I feel like I've slowed down. Is it because I'm ill? My illness is affecting my jumping abilities? Please, this is the only joy I find in life, is jumping on things? If they remove this from me, then who am I? Some sort of creepy cat child? Deep. Awesome Springs. Possum Springs is deeper than ever before. We can lift this up. Success. I don't think any of this is ever actually relevant. This man is not middle-aged, so it was not his arm. And he's the only guy who thinks that I feel like he matters at all, so I guess it's nothing. Non-issue. I don't know why I'm continually able to click on that thing. You know what I have never done? Visited my mom at church. And by never, I mean I've done it once, but I don't think I really talked to her or had any sort of event happen, so maybe... I think it's too late at this point to start any sort of like full-on chain, but maybe I could be like one outing with mom before I experience the horrors that is germ warfare. Mother! How's your book? Last time I was here you were pissed at me. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. I haven't come here in years, mom. Oh geez, I'm not betting. <laughs> God's patient, hon. Like nature. This is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creepy dead thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hun, can I do anything? Not really. Love you. Fun talk. Have fun reading the Bible, I guess. Could I steal another pretzel for the rats? Maybe some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. So I've done this once. I've done this once. And already fat the rat babies, and then I got an achievement? Is it like some sort of special thing? That if I feed them like multiple days in a row, that I could like become super rat king? Like can I summon additional rat babies if I just do this multiple times? Getting the hang of this. Oh yes, okay, that makes it kind of seem like they want me to do it multiple times. There's probably a secret involved, but honestly, I just think that my pocket was kind of cold, so I think I'm just gonna do like pencil warmers. A daily pencil warmer, so I stay buttery and sweet. Okay, yep, they've scribbled all over this thing. I think that was already happening. The uh, teenagers have banned their post because they graffitied, and now they know that if they are standing next to the graffiti, the cops might be like, you're literally returning to the crime, and they're like, no, the movie said not to do that, so I never do. Also, it wasn't us. It was our best friends from across the road. You don't know them. They go to a different high school. And they're like, you people go to middle school. And they're like, we're cool. We know high schoolers from other towns. In fact, I'm dating like three of them right now. So, mm. And the cop's like, I don't, I don't care, kid. I don't care what you do in your weirdness. Hey, that sounds like a hangout location. Not sure. Hey, me. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem something, too. Do I look different? Everyone keeps telling me I'm freaking sick. To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. <laughs> no prob. I gotta get home. Where do you live? Across the parking lots up the hill. Back in the woods. Ooh, you're a wood dweller. Oh, I've never been back there. I have. I live there. Freaking idiot. I'm like, I didn't freaking ask, germ. Yes, you have. See ya. Can I chase you? Back in the woods, kind of- No, you can't disappear behind a stair- You freaking magician, I can't do 3D things. Okay, well, I was pretty sure there was at least one more instance of me being able to hang out with Germ, but he actually dislikes me very much. I'm hoping hanging out with him wasn't super plot relevant. The fact that he lives in the woods kind of makes it seem like maybe it is a little bit, but it's too late now. I need to hang out with Angus. I feel like Angus isn't out because he keeps leaving, but I've already done the two other ghost things, so I think Angus is my only option. Which means I ran way too far away. Please, Angus, thank god you're home. Let's go to an exploration. So I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You're gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, you seem pretty strong and also pretty rested, so I you can just carry me. That'll be fine, I think. Nah. Yeah. Wow, be like you have the car two nights in a row? Yeah. Even after the flat tire? Well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And I replaced the tire. Oh, yeah. Honestly, it's an improvement then. She didn't have to deal with a flat tire, and she's got a brand new free tire from this dude. That's honestly great. Let's go. 
Well, could you borrow her car, though? I had to ride on Greg's bike. When we saw the ghost? Yeah, Greg needs to get his license. I fell off his bike, which I also did a few days before that. And I only have a moderate brain damage. I'm pretty hardy. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Maybe because it's frickin' crazy? No, couldn't be that. Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. I will, I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello? And me saying, I've- Hey, I've verified that you were a dead person. I did in fact stick my hand into your ghostly specter bod and nothing happened. It just went through. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. No, I'm gonna be sick. Sorry. Ooh, have I been traumatized by the ghosting place? Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. We will have 200 episodes about this concept. Please enjoy. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> Valid, I think that's a very appealing intro. I think that we can get this, we can get this licensed, I would say. This podcast is doomed for greatness. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. In the woods? I feel like that'd be kind of easy to get your frisbee hitting things, I guess. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Once when I was little, I fell off a scooter while going full speed on a sidewalk because my wheel hit like a little cracked part of the sidewalk and I went flying and dragged my face across the cement for multiple feet. That was crazy. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh, nice. Oh. We stopped at the frisbee. Well, that's good. I assume that means that the things that you threw before that point were less dangerous. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, that seems very unfriendly of them. I, for one, would like to be great friends and feed all of the wildlife. I can be helpful. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. I mean, sometimes the only friends that you can have are birds. Have you ever considered that, Angus? Maybe you're too privileged because you already have existing friends. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. If you bring some takeout to some of the cabins up here, I think they'd be pretty for that, honestly. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Dead bodies. A middle-aged man who's missing one arm. I saw that just yesterday. That was pretty weird. We'll head up my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. It's already extremely sunset colored, so I think that we're a little late, honestly. Maybe we should have left a little earlier. Maybe we could have planned this on one of your off days, so you didn't have to, like, get off work at 7 to take me? I'm already lost. I've abandoned Angus. You walk way too slow. If I stay with you, do I get anything? No? All I get is to see things that are crazy and new at the same time as him. I would rather see them first. This... This is my dream. This is what my dreams feel like. Can you- are we walking this way? It's the old well. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Also, I haven't worked out in millennium, but that's fine, I've got noodle arms. Sarah, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Didn't you run cross country back in junior high? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. Coughing up while uh, you're walking around as if you're choking might be a little bit of what? What is this thing? This is like... a lime kiln, I think? Limes? Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? For limes! Frickin' listen, May! Limestone. You, like, do something with it in here? And it becomes this other thing. Mmm, Minecraft style? I get your drift. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures. From millions of years ago. So what you're saying is the ghost killed somebody and then burned their body in here. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. No way. But mostly whoa. I uh, know, right? Like, right where we're standing. They were like ancient, horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. And that's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. I thought he was saying, okay, let's leave. We checked out the lime kiln furnace. That's as ghostly as I'm willing to get today. So let's uh, carry on. These limestone kilns definitely seem like the musician's uh, home bases, I'd say. 
Is everything just based- I'm standing here, you can talk to me, son. Ugh. Oof. Do we need to take a break? Are you gonna be cool on the way down? Because that could just kind of like roll you on the way down. That could be kind of fun. Like a Mario level? Would that be- would that be something you'd be interested in? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. So, if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? Hmm, but why male models? I don't know. To the ocean, I guess? And like, the earth is always shifting. So mountains get all pushed up, where it used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. I almost never see the earthquake. To think like all this crazy stuff was going on around here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. To find out about it later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. I, for one, am not ready to go. Hmm? Can we ever have a break because May just doesn't feel like walking very much? A third one. One more is the charm. Ugh. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna pass out when we reach the top of the cliff and cause an entire emotional thing when I, who don't have a phone, so says Angus on a previous episode, um, can't call emergency services and have to get saved by some creepy forest person. Like Germ! Germ Warfer lives in the woods. I just found that out this morning. Seriously, it's fine. Hang out for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rocks and whatever. Lime, stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. The class fills up fast, because everyone freaking loves dinosaurs. Surprisingly, the difference between, like, a kindergarten interest and a college student interest, it, like, changes a lot in the middle, but once you get to each end, it's, it quite overlaps. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Mmm, don't I love me some freaking chickens. I would love to eat a dinosaur one day. Things are so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures will eat us no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous because, in fact, they will be dead. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Are we? Oh, he's picking up the pace. Man, Angus, you don't have to do a sprint at the end. I'm definitely gonna beat you either way, so no need to rush or anything. Oh, now it's dark. It's gonna be so scary going down this whole mountain. It took us so long to get up here. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open up back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Why did we come here again? Like, we specifically had to go to the top for, like, a reason? These are graves? This seems like the kind of place that we first start in my dreams. Is this the graves that I dreamed about? These were... Yeah, these were there. I forgot. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. Like, that labor strike thing? Where it was, like, the Miners versus National Guard? Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think they were some of the bad guys, and some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's, like, a few old graveyards up here from, like, colonial times. I guess there's one up there somewhere, too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. These were shark people. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Except the frickin' ghosts, Angus. Open your eyes, there's literally surrounded. We have nowhere to go. What's this, like a boat thing? Is this a rock? It's just a rock? I'm sorry, Angus, I'm just kinda antsy right now. If I'm honest with you, I've peed my pants like three times on the walk up here, but honestly, it's your frickin' fault for taking so long. I can't hold it that well. Wow, we're up here really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. And now that I have you right where I want you, psh betrayal i killed the person oh so what are we supposed to just wait up here and see if anything happens what do you mean what are we gonna do you're this, this is your idea may you should know what we're doing <laughs> you tell me you're the expert i guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens nothing happened all right let's go home nice night yeah back at school i couldn't see as many stars that always made me sad oh yeah they're really nice up here I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never even remember any of them. Also literally read a book sometime, May? I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at the longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? 
Oh yeah, no, I made that up really hard. I was just practicing for my improv club that week. That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I find the constellations and you tell me about them. Okay. I used to play this game with one of my little siblings that I would, uh... They would be like, tell me the history of and they would name a random thing and I would just make up a bullcrap reason for how it was invented or like how it came to be and I would just tell like an improv story about it. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember, or dreamed up that one time. Uh, whichever. Remember Mr. Chizofka? He showed me like three of them. Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and he has a telescope on his roof? And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool, telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. I will inform Greg of the fact that you would like a telescope. I hope that he will buy you a better present in the future. The big upside down dipper. You hear? Oh. This is a little challenging, I will admit. Do I have to close the circle for this to be a valid star? Can I just make one huge star? Is this not allowed? No? Okay, fine. It's it's the square of dreams. Dream square. That's not a cat holding a diamond. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you know. Remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh wow, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. <laughs> Ooh, it's Ass Cat? I love that guy. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body. It became a mortal or something. Ah, decent. Extremely decent. Next one. That one was kind of lame. I would like one with more dinosaurs, please, Angus. You know I have the attention span of a child, and I can't really feel entertained by just a thief. You think thieving is my kind of criminal? I, I am myself a thief, but even so, this doesn't work? If that works? Is this not related? Okay, if this one's just a triangle. Ooh, it's the Illuminati ghost. Okay, that's a bell. No, it's the Illuminati ghost, May. Listen carefully. And in the middle is an eye, looking at you. Okay, that's a- uh, I know this one a little from like, Prague Rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Well, crap. It's high up enough that it kind of looks like it's always looking at all of us, right? God damn. Everything is terrifying, isn't it, man? I brought you up here so that you too can know the sadness of living. And the joys of death. Through the, uh, the art of constellation building. You can't fail me, I'm trying so hard. Okay, so this one's like a rhombus. A really effed up rhombus, maybe, maybe like a trapezoid? Beautiful. It's a whale people live on. There's a game coming out with like a dinosaur people live on. It's a whale! And it's got like tiny world on its back. Ooh, that's sad. It's a Pokemon and every time he does a flip he kills millions of people. Yeah. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space dust. Space! Just like the one from Doctor Who, who like, eats children. I guess it's dumb to get mad at Adrian people. Or, I guess exactly does not do that. Let me... A uh, baby triangle. My next favorite constellation. This one's called a bowling pin. Maybe a juggling pin. Maybe a really funky hat from Invader Zim. No, it's a bird with fire breath. Oh, I should've known. It's a pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside the church. Oh, we never went there. Did you- did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first do count. Those are like events. My mom works up to the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. That was a nice story, let's go to the next one. Uh, we're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? No, I don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all. I mean, there's no evidence for them. 
And people have really tried. <laughs> Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. When I was little, uh, so, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either, and, like, uh, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. My dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all this stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She locked me in there for, like, a day at a time sometimes, or overnight, so I'd like to try to develop psychic powers. So I could, like, signal the neighbors, or unlatch the door, but it didn't work, as you might guess. Even if superpowers did exist, I could never believe them, because why wouldn't they have helped me if they did? They've already failed me, then they're not something I choose to believe in. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing? Like, being abused? I guess that's not your fault at all. You were a kid! No, oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I could have some shit up. I would go to jail for that, Angus. That is a worthy cause. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army, and my dad left like 10 years ago, so who knows where he is or if he's even alive at this point. If he is alive, I don't want to talk about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like yeah. Anyway, so your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. And something you could debunk, you know? I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. I really like puzzle solving. I think I should be a programmer. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can make you do some bad stuff to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or God. So like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I uh, believe that stars exist, and that people put the whale there. And by virtue of the fact that people had some sort of a thought process or were being emotionally affected by the idea of something existing, that in some way, although it is not a physical form, it is some sort of s physical thing, as just by virtue of the fact that it is causing an effect going throughout humanity, you know? Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines to the space between stars. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns. And we really put our minds and hearts into it. And even if we don't mean to. I believe that a universe that doesn't care, and people who do... Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But like God found them. Like when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So like... The stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. <laughs> but that this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm nowhere... But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. 